This problem wants us to find the ratio of shaded squares to the total number of squares. If we take a look at the shaded portion of this rectangle, we should recognize that we could shade three more sections with the identical size as the shaded part. So out of the whole rectangle, we should recognize that we can divide it into four equal parts, each part being exactly as big as the shaded section. Now notice the ratio is asking for shaded squares to the total number of squares. Now we can see that out of these four parts that one of the sections is shaded. Because the problem is asking for the total number of squares, we would have to say that there are four total sections altogether. And notice in the problem they want us to compare this one shaded section to the total number of squares and we can see that there are four total sections of squares. So we would say the ratio of shaded squares to the total number of squares is one part to every four parts. Another way of doing this problem is to actually count how many small shaded squares are present in the picture. We can see that the shaded part of the rectangle has the dimensions 3 by 8, and 3 times 8 is 24. Now, if we count the total number of squares shown in the rectangle, we can see that the height is 8, and the base has a length of 12 squares. Now, when finding the total number of squares, you have to remember that that includes the shaded as well as the unshaded portion of this rectangle. The rectangle's base is 12 and the height is 8, and 8 times 12 is 96. So we can say that 24 squares are shaded compared to 96 total squares. Because 24 and 96 share the greatest common factor of 24, dividing both numbers by that greatest common factor will give us our final answer, or one shaded square for every four total.